The Riti is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the d5 and e4 squares. c4 controls the important d5 square. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This prepares the bishop for development. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Recaptures. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a queen. It is the last book move. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This threatens to win a bishop. It is excellent. There was only one good move in that position. This allows the opponent to kick a queen. It is a mistake. This kicks an opposing knight. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is good. This kicks an opposing queen. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is good. Right on target. It is best. This threatens to fork pieces. It is excellent. This misses an opportunity to move a piece to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to attack a trapped rook. This stops the opponent from being able to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This overlooks a better way to recapture a piece. It is a mistake. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This threatens to pin a knight. It is best. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. This defends the attacked rook. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This defends a rook that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the start of the end game and black is worse. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is a mistake. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. 
That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This evades the check from the pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This threatens to attack a trapped knight. There was only one good move there. It is a mistake. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to attack a trapped knight. It is best. This is the way to win a pawn. This stops the opponent from being able to take an outpost with a knight. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This evades the check from the knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is good. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is a fair move. It is good. This steps away from the checking knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is best. This steps away from the checking knight. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is good. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is excellent. This pushes a passed pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That was a free pawn. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is excellent. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only move that works. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is excellent. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This permits the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a bad move and black is no longer in a losing position. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. This prevents the opponent from being able to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a great move. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This stops the opponent from being able to promote a pawn to a queen. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This move puts the rook on a safer square. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is excellent. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This stops the opponent from being able to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is excellent. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is excellent. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only good move. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. It is a great move. This pushes a passed pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The pawn reaches the back rank and promotes to a queen. It is best. This promotes a pawn to a queen. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This evades the check from the queen. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. It is best. 
This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Black played better than white in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game.